Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everybody to the this session of the Product Management View Series. I'm Zal Workman from Diamond Technology Solutions, one of the sponsors of this webinar series, and I'll be your moderator today. It's my pleasure to introduce Brian Glassman as our uh, today's presenter. Uh, Brian is a PhD candidate from the Innovation Management at Purdue and has been studying product development for seven years. Uh, you'd think he'd probably learned better by now, but we'll forgive him for that. As part of his academic requirements, he's going to be presenting the topic today on idea generation, a detailed lesson, and, con and how to conduct effective idea generation activities in, in your community. Brian's really engaging to, to talk with, and uh, hopefully you guys will pick up on that uh, this afternoon as he's presenting these slides. Feel free to uh, send him questions, and I'm sure he'll uh, respond to those afterwards as well. Today he aims to provide a detailed lesson on how to conduct some of the top idea generation activities so that they can generate valuable ideas for future products and services. For those of you who are using Twitter, you can follow and add additional conversation using the hashtag um, PMV. Also, I'll be collecting questions throughout the presentation and review them during the Q&A session at the end of Brian's presentation. I'm going to go ahead and pass the control over to Brian at this time and he'll present this week's information on idea generation. At the end of the presentation, I'll come back to conduct the Q&A session. Go ahead, Brian. Hello, Val, and thank you for hosting my presentation again. And I also would like to thank Rima for putting this presentation online and allowing people to participate. And if you get a chance, I'll definitely take a look at Rima's products. They seem pretty interesting for my first uh, review of them and I think they're worth spending some time on. Again, I'm not part of RIMA. I'm a PhD student from Purdue University, and today I'm going to be presenting on idea generation. So this is my contact information. Now let me speak a second about my credentials. I've been studying product development for the better part of seven years, and I have two degrees in engineering, mechanical engineering, in fact, and now I, I'm working on my fourth degree, and that would be in business or actual innovation management. And let me speak about my dissertation. In my dissertation, I pretty much read all the information I could on the fuzzy front end, idea generation, and idea management. So from this comprehensive understanding of that, I'm going to be presenting today's topics. My dissertation is pretty long right now. It's 290 pages. I'm expecting to go around probably about 350 pages. Now, that dissertation is pretty much too long for most innovation practitioners to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out some white papers that will really summarize this and get to the crux of the lessons which innovation practitioners should know. Now, if not, you haven't already, make sure I got your email so I can send you the white papers. And also, I can send you my presentation or the link to the previous web seminar, which was hosted on RIMA. And my email address is shown here. It's brian, period, glassman, at gmail.com. Now I'm going to go into the presentation. Now I've got to warn you, I'm going to speak about a lot of information really fast, so you're going to have to take some time and really concentrate on this. And because this web seminar is being uh, videotaped, this means that you'll be able to come back to the RIMA website and review the video and show it to your other co-workers if you need to. So now let me move on to idea generation and idea management. Well, first thing you've got to understand is there are two different processes. Idea generation, is, as shown here, is the act of generating ideas for new products or services which can benefit your company for two reasons, which is, one, feeding ideas into the company's development pipeline, you know, creating a new project, being the generation of other ideas amongst your employees. And idea generation, idea management, I'm sorry, is a completely different process where you're capturing, storing, diffusing ideas. Three, three of those actions. Um, now, here is an illustration of the greater innovation process. Now, typically you have your stage gate process at the front, the commercialization process, and then your market launch process. At the beginning is this fuzzy front end, as people call it or the front end of innovation, which has been confusing and perplexing many people. Now, my studies on this, I have determined that the idea, the fuzzy front end is really broken up into two parts. The early front end, 